Remember, folks, I'm just a Muppet in a chair. Don't take me seriously. Hi, you know, guys. You know, baby, we had a couple of uh, people who were pretty upset that we uh, didn't get a jingle. Uh, I actually episode. realized that like a few hours after we did it that I didn't do a jingle. Yeah, so it's about that time to do the jingle. <laughs> Father Ted, Father Ted, what you gonna do today, Father Ted? There we go. Yeah. Bravo. And whatever Bravo. you're sipping on. Well, you said uh, yesterday when we recorded another video that you might want to make some British tea. Yeah. So is that what this is? It is. Well, I shouldn't say it's British tea, because a girl from Dublin made it for me. So. English tea. Maybe there's Welsh tea. Irish tea. Maybe there's Scottish tea. Do you like it? So this is Irish tea. Irish tea, yes. Okay. So it's very important to make that distinction yes, with, our, yes. with our audience. It is Irish but yes. tea. But yes, I I like that a lot actually. It's good, isn't it? I um... yeah. I just hope it doesn't make me sleepy. Oh, it's going to. <laughs> oh well, that's wonderful news. <laughs> like in an hour. But yeah, I like it a lot. It's because it has milk in it, and anytime it's actually fitting. Milk... It's more fitting that we have Irish tea since we're doing a yeah Father Ted Father Ted reaction. So exactly. this is I was puzzled by the thumbnail and the title of this. It's called Chirpy Burpy Cheap Sheep. I love it. <laughs> yeah, of course you do. That is a great name. Yeah, so who knows what's going Chirpy, on in this Burpy, one. Cheap Sheep. But we love Father Ted. It's probably my favorite show we react to now. Which There's only this third season left, so got to enjoy it while we can, right? Yeah. All right. So we'll see you in there, Boomerites. Remember to like, subscribe, do whatever you want, okay? Yeah. And get yourself some Irish tea. Yeah. That if is there's it. an Irish tea company out there, I have not... To this day, I have not done a single... Okay, so I should... I mean, it's Lipton. I don't know if that's what you guys drink over there, too. It's America's tea. <laughs> so, it says American We're drinking American, American tea, tea, so we ruined but it. But I prepared it the way that my friend prepared her tea. Yeah. But um, I do... She did say she's going to send me over some um, Irish tea that's also pregnancy safe. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. It's nice of so, her. So, whenever that Shout comes, out to Anya. So whenever that comes, we'll try some of that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. All right, we'll see you in there, Boomerites. Like, subscribe, do whatever the hell you want to, okay? All right, here we go. Moors. We, we don't have any moors. Well, then there's something terrible roaming around the place where normally there would be moors, Father. <laughs> they think it might be a kind of giant fox. <laughs> Dougal. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Ted, it couldn't be Jack, could it? You could see how someone might mistake him for a big mad cat. <laughs> Don't forget, Dougal, during leap years, Father Jack is very much affected by the changing of the seasons. <laughs> for a short while, a marvellous serenity enters his life, and he is at one with nature. Oh, my God. Oh, look at him. <laughs> Yay! He's got puppies. Jack can really move. He's great when he's in the mood. <laughs> if only it lasted a bit longer. <laughs> oh my god! I better go and make some tea. <laughs> I hate it and love that at the same time. Oh my god, that was so funny. Dougal, I told you to turn off that record. But it is off. Oh, Lord. What do you mean Chris isn't in the competition? He's the champ. You have to enter him. All this talk of the beast has got to him. His nerves are shot. I took a photo of him this morning. Nerves? I mean, Fargo, it's a sheep. He always had a very artistic temperament, Father. Yeah, but I mean, he's not a concert pianist. He's a sheep. You know, I don't see how... Oh, my God. <laughs> I mean, when you compare it with what he looked like last year... It's like two completely different sheep. <laughs> he's it's off his so food. Stupid. He's not sleeping. And he started to burp. <laughs> <laughs> what, what am I going to do? <laughs> mm, 
Fargo. Really cares about his Pull shoes. yourself together. Chris needs you now more than he's ever needed you. <laughs> Come on, I want to see him. He doesn't want to see anybody, Father. Fargo, that's an order. Take me to see Chris, the unhappy sheep. <laughs> <laughs> but it's this epic journey. Take me to see him. God, Dougal, you should have seen him. He's just a shadow of a sheep. I'm not surprised, Ted. If I was a sheep, I'd be watching my back right now. Why? Oh, my God. Fuck a doodle, man. I love doodle. Because of the beast. They say it's as big as four cats, and it's got a retractable leg so it can leap up at you better. But you know what, Ted? It lights up at night. And uh, it's got four ears. Two of them are for listening, and the other two are kind of backup ears. And uh, its claws are as big as cups. And for some reason, it's got a tremendous fear of stamps. <laughs> Mrs. Doyle was telling me that it's got magnets on its tail. So as if you're made out of metal, it can attach itself to you. And instead of a mouth, it's got four arses. <laughs> <laughs> it's a legend. It doesn't exist. Right, Ted. The way the Phantom of the Opera doesn't exist. The oh Phantom of the God. Opera doesn't exist! Look, I'm not going to get into this what does exist and what doesn't exist debate again, OK? But I'm going to have to insist you add those last two examples to the chart. But, Ted, Dougal! <laughs> Darth Vader's on there! No, I'm more worried about that bet I put on Chris becoming King of the Sheep. You don't think he'll win, then? No burping sheep has ever won it. <laughs> or try to say Magnum P.I., Frankenstein, the Loch Ness Monster. I can't read that fourth one. And then there's Darth Vader. You having trouble seeing that, all that? Yeah. Yeah. That's just, that's hilarious, though. It looks like it says live, the fourth one says live Catholic hose. That's what it looks like. It's That's the end of the reaction, folks. We'll see you next time. Have a good day. <laughs> I'm just reading what's on there. Jesus, babe. I'm just reading, but it's spelled H-O-S. What makes you think it says live Catholic hose? It looks like it says L-I-V-E. And then that, that second word is definitely is that, Catholic. Is that, the, is that the big strip club in the Vatican? <laughs> Not done ones. We got live. <laughs> but it's spelled hose like ho ho ho. It says H O S. Oh my lord. That's what I see. <laughs> Just read him what I see. I love what you. about Big I Brendan love in 1983? Fluke. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's just the heating budget. <laughs> and, and look what the weather news says. <laughs> Ted, that's last year's weather news. What? This is this year's. <laughs> oh no. Look, I'll have to go and see <laughs> if John and Mary will let me take my money back yeah. tomorrow. I might go down with you. See if they've got another sound effects album. Volume 5. Fair enough. Good night then, Dougal. <laughs> That'd be me too. I bet You're some so of his ears are on, are on the inside of his head. And when he yawns, it sounds like Liam Neeson uh, chasing a load of hens around inside a barrel. <laughs> Hello, Fargo. Liam Neeson's name has been dropped a lot in these past few episodes we've reacted to. And uh, he doesn't have any eyebrows at all, uh, except on Saturdays. <laughs> oh! Ah! Oh! And you can stay in there till you learn some fucking manners. Get out, you bastard! <laughs> oh, that's the case. And I've thrown away the king. Oh, yeah, yeah. How do you like that, huh? They haven't made an appearance in a while. Hello, Father Crilly. Hello, Father McGuire! <laughs> where's, uh, where's Mary? Oh, oh, she's away at her mother's. No! Is there, um, is there someone in the cupboard? Hello, Fathers. <laughs> Mary? Ah, uh, Mary, I, I forgot you were there. I, I thought you were at your mother's. No, I didn't go to me mother's after all. I'm in the cupboard. <laughs> Mary, what are you doing in there? Oh, uh, I know. It's because of this beast of Craggy Island thing. I thought that Mary would be safer in the cupboard. That's right. I'm better off here. What can I do you for, Father? <laughs> oh, yeah. 
pack of 20 carols. Certainly, Father. Uh, I'll get them, love. You stay in the cupboard. <laughs> uh, John, uh, can I have a word? Is Father McGuire there? I am. Hello, Mary. Lovely day, isn't it, Father? Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, my God. You're looking great anyway. <laughs> I'm sorry, Father, a bet's a bet. It's just that if the girl doesn't have the operation, she won't be able to fetch water for her village. <laughs> I am sorry, Father. It's a pity you didn't wait, though. The odds have lengthened to 20 to 1 on account of Chris's nervous troubles. <laughs> anyway, your cigarettes. Uh, thanks. Ted, they don't have the sound effects album. We might as well just go. <laughs> Bye, Father. Bye. Bye. Well, I hope you're satisfied. Ah, shut up. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Good for her. I'd do that too if I was locked in a uh, Father Ted, I, I... I love Father Ted. Whoever wrote this is... Yeah. Absolutely brilliant. Oh, look, oh. there's Giant Reed. <laughs> Hello, Giant! <laughs> What are you thinking about there, Ted? You should see the big serious look on your face. I can't see Chris winning this competition, Dougal. Ted, it's pointless even thinking about it. You're only wasting your time. There's nothing we can do about the situation. We just have to accept the fact, and that's that. <laughs> How about we bring Chris over here for a while? Maybe the change would do him good. Oh, wow. Brilliant. <laughs> I knew there was something we could do. Didn't I say it? Didn't I say to you there just a second ago? No, no, you didn't. You said the exact opposite. There was absolutely nothing we could do. Actually, Ted, you've done this to me before. So <laughs> I took the liberty of taping the conversation. <laughs> now, we'll just have a listen. Ted, it's pointless even thinking about it. You're only wasting your time. There's nothing we can do about the situation. We've just got to accept the fact, and that's that. I stand corrected. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, there he is now, anyway. <laughs> I'm still not sure about this now, Father. Don't worry, Fargo. By the next time you see him, he'll be a new sheep. If not, we'll make him into a jumper and a few chops. <laughs> I, I'm terribly sorry. That, that was just tasteless. I, I am terribly, terribly sorry. I'll be off, then. <sighs> Look, I think lamb, uh, sheep are cute. I do too. I think they're really cute. But man, do I fucking love lamb chops. Yeah, I know you do. Yeah. I like them. I think they're good. Yeah. But they are okay, cute so, animals. And seriously, if there's one place you can be sure of peace and quiet. <laughs> I think it would be an insult to you if I finished that sentence. You're up early, Father. That's a yes. cute little tea kettle. We're off to try it and was, get Chris yeah. into shape for the competition. Do you think would our new guest like a cup of tea, Father? <laughs> <laughs> the little sheep fellow. I don't think they drink tea, Mrs Doyle. Not unless you have some special sheep tea. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> what? I do have some sheep tea in the kitchen. <laughs> oh, right, well, um, give, him, give him some of that then. Okay, so. <laughs> Aww, oh, Ted, it's nearly midday. Do we have to get up this early? <laughs> Has to be done, Dougal. We've got to get Chris from looking like this to looking like this. Hello, Father. Did you... Is he... I'm sorry. We tried everything. Ah, well. I suppose I... 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 I, I better take him home. Uh. Aha! <laughs> Aha! Gotcha! <laughs> what did you do? What did you do? 
just did my best. <laughs> oh, I don't know what to say. Father, can I buy you a drink to celebrate? All right. Ma Dougal, you mind Chris till we get back. And don't let him wander off. Keep an eye on him. And keep that front door closed. OK, Ted. Oh, he's so cute. That's a cute sheep. He's the best freaking sheep ever. <laughs> little sheep face. Uh, you have to say, grace and the humor. Really? Yes. <laughs> you only cost 23 pounds. 23. There's some clause where I'll have to pay more if his image is ever used on steps. Yeah. <laughs> What's that? The great bargain for such a happy sheep. I'm having a hard time understanding this guy. Yeah. What are you saying? Half of it is just like, it's like, what? I can tell you some of it. Go back. Yeah. <laughs> if his image is ever used on steps. Yeah. What's that? The great bargain for such a happy sheep. It, it, all I heard was if his image is ever used on stamps and then ha ba da ba dee ba da ba da I'm sorry I'm I not trying to make fun of Irish he, people I thought but he said that's what you get when you get a good plus sheep. he's also playing a drunk character yeah, right now no, so. he's not supposed to be making sense but like that second part is like it sounded like uh, that Star Wars language that job of the Hutt's yeah books. <laughs> no, he did, like what you just did sounded like what he sounded like. Yeah, I couldn't understand it a word he said. About a good sheep, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a crown on. Look at that. Yeah, King Boomer. Pistons. Yeah. <laughs> wearing a crown. <laughs> yes. Uh, very good. Yes. 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 Very good, Jess. That's good. Hey, sounds like a Jawa. <laughs> Dougal, I noticed that the front door is wide open. Oh, uh, it is, yes, Ted. And I see that we are currently sheepless. Oh. Ah! <laughs> Dougal, I told you to keep the front door closed. Uh, now, just hold it there, Ted. <laughs> Don't let him wander off. Keep an eye on him. Oh. Go get that sheep because he's real cute. I'm gonna be mad if he dies. How do we know which way to go? Sheep, like all wool bearing animals, instinctively travel north where it's colder and the mope is so stuffy. So we have to go north. Which way is north? I, I don't know. <laughs> Quick! It seems to be coming from all around us. The Sioux Indians in the Arizona desert used to be able to pinpoint the exact location of Buffalo by gauging the position of the moon and putting their ears to the ground. Actually, Ted, maybe the sound is coming from that stereo. <laughs> Look at his face. I generally thought they were going to have like some monster show. I did too. I think I'm beginning to figure out what's been going on. Rack of lamb. Love it. Well, it's been an easy decision. There's one out and out winner. Rack of lamb is rather than waste time with the speech. Whatever. I'll get on with the job of announcing. The winner who today has come first in this competition to see who the winner is in the King of the Sheep competition that we have all come to today, wondering who indeed will it be who wins the prize of King of the Sheep. The winner of this year's King of the Sheep competition is... Stop! Oh. 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 What is the meaning of this? This competition is a sham and a fraud and a sham. Oh. How dare you? There's been a deliberate and scurrilous attempt to sabotage 
this high-profile sheep competition. And those responsible are in this very room. Giant Reed and Hud Hastings. Oh, oh, no. No. You better have something to back that up with, Father. Oh, I do. I do. You were the ones who constantly chatted of the so-called beast of Craggy Island. Always within hearing distance of Chris the Sheep. Fargo. How's the champion? <laughs> and it was you who used a copy of BBC Sound Effects, Volume 5, to add weight to those fanciful claims. An impression that she could not help but be convinced by the late-night howlings of terrible monster type A. Is this true? Well, well, well. What a pretty picture Father Crilly has painted. How, how dare you bring shame on this celebration of sheep? Don't be too hard on them. Sorry, I don't know your name. Alan. Don't be too hard on them, Alan. <laughs> they were simply pawns. The real villain in this piece has yet to be revealed. I like how he's being like... I know. Like, um... Telling a story in like a trial or something. What's that guy's name? Inspector... Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock Holmes. Seriously, I was Inspector thinking he was Patrick. like that, uh... He, he's kind of acting like that guy who used to host, uh... What was that show? Unsolved Mysteries? Oh, yeah. Back yeah. in the 90s. Oh, that was... That show used to scare me. That's, yeah, because they had the creepy music playing, yeah. and then he would be like, and then he came out, came home and beat his wife to death with a steel dildo. Yeah, he'd say he'd talk it like that. What? I think I'm thinking of a different show. This was like a monster. unsolved mysteries. No, it's it's you probably haven't seen it because I'm I'm old. You're not that. You're only like a decade old. <laughs> All right, let's uh, see what's going on here. <laughs> Fargo Boyle! What? Oh, no, 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 no. Fuck it, no. <laughs> yeah, that's nonsense. I just go now and take my trophy. It was you who was disappointed at the poor odds Chris was receiving. You who planned to manipulate those odds by sabotaging your own sheep and then staging a miraculous recovery on the day of the competition. You who paid Giant and Hud to talk about the beast in front of Chris. Ah, Hud, Giant, hello there. <laughs> you didn't count on the vanity of your accomplices, who used their newfound wealth to buy a fur coat <laughs> and a crown. <laughs> I'm sorry, I love this sheep you who bought the BBC Sound Effects record just before Father Doogie had a chance to... <laughs> you! Who gave the sheep to me, knowing that as a priest with an intuitive understanding of sheep, I could nurse him back to health. <laughs> you. 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 You! Chris! Chris! You it's better go true. apologize it's to Chris. It's not true! No, 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 don't look at me! Don't look at me! <laughs> Chris is a good boy. Should I call the police, Father? No. He's lost the trust of his sheep. That's punishment enough for a farmer who deals primarily with sheep. <laughs> oh, excuse me. There's a bit of a stench in here, and I need some fresh air. Who you tell him? <laughs> One thing, Ted. If Chris has been disqualified, doesn't that mean you've lost the heating allowance money on the bet? <laughs> I know it's a radical step, Dougal, but it is very, very cold. <laughs> See you in three months then, Ted. Off the hibernate. Oh my god. That was a good one. I don't know, it wasn't really one of my favorites. How actually. long was that? I couldn't even come back. It didn't seem that long, yeah. I don't know, I like the show. Well, we like the show so much that we like for each story. Yeah. yeah. Be on the lookout! Actually, better go to the toilet first. Oh my god. 
Oh, wow. Any more scenes hiding? No. Yeah, even though, like, I mean, I liked that episode. I just think it, it was, wasn't was one of the better ones for some reason. No, there's been, there's been better, but I liked it. But it's still a really good episode. I mean, all the Father Ted, Ted episodes are good, man. Like I, I like said. I like the two pictures of the sheep, and they're identical. Yeah. And then the second just time flipped. he flips them, yeah. yeah. That like, was look, funny. He's look like this. A stressed out sheep. Yeah. I think my favorite part was watching Father Jack be a happy... <laughs> Oh, yeah. Happy old man. Oh, it killed me when he wiped his... He's, like, coming yeah. with the puppies, and now he's, like, spits and then wipes his mouth with a puppy. Oh, my God. The random stuff that happens in these episodes is fantastic. Oh I like whoever thought But, yeah, that even though this funny. is, like, one of the... For, in my opinion, one of the uh, lower-tier episodes, it's... You take this episode and like put it up that. against, like, almost every episode from every other show. Yeah. And, I think it's superior so it's probably the first time i've ever had like a criticism of a father ted episode. yeah i like that yeah i I'm, i still enjoyed the yeah. hell out of it just compared to some of the other ones it was i don't know i think i like animals anytime there's like an animal i want i'm like all about it yeah some of the, the, the some of the sheep shit was so, so ridiculous though. i like when he's like like showing the evidence and then he goes bah, 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 yeah. bah. i yeah. like that Maybe I should make a... I'm happy you liked your tea. You drink all of it. Yeah. Maybe I should make a new intro with a sheep noise. Bleh. I've, been, I've, I've seen a couple comments lately that don't like my uh, put my intros anymore. Really? Yeah. Nice. I still get people that like to tell me how to run the channel. Do you? Like when I first dropped that, like the Muppet, the bat thing. Yeah. Like when I first dropped that, like half the comments were dying laughing about it. Yeah. And now I have like a couple people saying like, you need to get rid of that intro like immediately. It is loud. It is loud, but uh, that's... Gonna wake you up. I think the only people that don't like it are people who've got headphones on. Yeah. You know, the ones that tell me to turn my volume down instead of turning their own down? They have it set at 16, <laughs> and they haven't changed that since 1942. <laughs> and they ain't changing it for you, King Boober. <laughs> no, they're not. <laughs> or if you don't like the intro, you can, and you're watching it on your phone, you got your headphones in there, you can tap the button. It skips past 10 seconds, which the intros are they only don't eight. They know there's a skip. So you can skip it. Uh, you know, just like a fucking rock over a pond, baby. That's just like a uh, millennial. You skip through the commercials. You gonna skip through life, too? <laughs> <laughs> that's the problem uh, with you youngins. You got no patience. Oh, good, man. I would be a good old man. He would. Thank you. you would be a great old man. Thanks. Thanks for saying that about your girlfriend. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, Boom Rights. Well, we'll see you next time, okay? Y'all have a lovely day. Stay safe. See you. Peace out. Bye.